Hi, it's Katina here and I'm with Gary Denian from System Accountant. Hi Gary, can hi. you briefly introduce yourself to our viewers? Yes, absolutely. Um, hi, yes, I'm uh, Gary Dunyon, the uh, BI uh, EPM uh, manager at Systems Accountants. Um, we're a, uh, in terms of a, an overview um, of, of who we are, we're a, a niche uh, business intelligence EPM uh, finance systems delivery partner. Um, very much a, a compelling alternative um, to the likes of a uh, systems integration partner, uh, consultancy, um, or vendor partner. Um, and in fact, we have a very core independent team um, to uh, to work on on delivery projects um, with uh, with our clients in the UK. Um, historically, uh, we've found that uh, a lot of finance transformation uh, implementations, EPM, business intelligence, um, have been led uh, purely by the vendors, the systems integration partners, um, who have an agenda to sell one product, um, and we'll find that more and more a lot of the the cfos and project sponsors of these clients don't really have a full understanding or grasp of how something should be implemented or actually what technologies are out there in the market um, so our niche approach with this is to work uh, very closely with the steering committees with the cfos with the project boards um, and it could be around a, a full finance transformation implementation it could be around uh, systems optimization. It could be something as simple as replacing Excel spreadsheets um, with uh, an, another reporting tool, more of a robust reporting tool, uh, or a budgeting and forecasting, planning and consolidation tool. Um, so in terms of, of what's out there, the CFO, uh, as part of his agenda, he doesn't really um, have a, a full grasp or understanding of the capabilities of technologies in the market today. Um, so we utilize our independent program managers um, our, our independent project managers who have a, a broad, um, I suppose, referenceable background um, across implementing EPM, uh, across BI uh, transformation, um, uh, across finance systems, who have a, a very good core understanding of the deliverables um, that the business needs to achieve, mm -hmm. um, and they can really guide the, the CFO um, and, and his, his projects team uh, in terms of making a right decision um, of the product that, that comes on board. We're very systems agnostic, um, mm -hmm. so we don't have uh, an allegiance to one specific vendor or one specific product, which means that we can truly be an independent partner um, to a steering committee um, in, in terms of a, uh, an implementation project, um, which has its, be its benefits. Um, yeah. it, it gives complete control um, complete visibility um, to the, the, the this project mm -hmm. uh, in terms of delivering each phase of, uh, of the implementation, starting from your your initial scoping system selection phase, um, right through to uh, the user requirements and actually what does the business want to achieve in terms of its deliverables and, and end, end game. Um, we, we advise impartially in terms of, of how that can be achieved, um, and we also get involved in uh, in working with systems experts uh, around finance systems, EPM technologies, um, a lot around uh, data governance um, yeah. and, and improvement process uh, initiatives as well in terms of leading these technologies forward uh, within the business. Again, using our, our very uh, tried and trusted core of independent experts um, on the projects. Um, so we are, we're, we're very much uh, taken away from uh, from having us in allegiance with a, a specific technology mm -hmm. uh, and we can act as that independent partner uh, on these implementations. Yeah, and what's your agenda for today? Uh, the agenda for today is, is really to deliver that message yeah. um, to the, the CFO. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of, I mean, w systems accountants have been, uh, we're in our 20th year uh, mm -hmm. this year, um, and historically uh, we've found that specifically within, within BI uh, and EPM, um, the likes of, of Oracle, Hyperion, mm -hmm. um, IBM Cognos have kind of been, SAP have kind of been the, the main players within the market uh, in terms of delivering an implementation for your reporting, your budgeting and forecasting, uh, financial planning, consolidation. Over the past maybe four or five years, we've hit a bit of a crossroads in terms of new vendors, new and emerging vendors come into the market, mm -hmm. whether it's on-premise, whether it's cloud-based. Um, and it's really getting the message out there to, to the CFO that if you're looking to optimize um, your current um, capabilities around your, your finance systems, BI processes, mm -hmm. um, your budgeting and forecasting, uh, or whether you're, you're really looking just to reduce reliance on Excel spreadsheets, there are products out there. Mm -hmm. um, 
and actually we, we can give you a very good assessment of what each product does mm -hmm. um, that's actually best fit for the business in terms of, uh, of, of moving forward uh, and rolling this out. Um, so I say if, in terms of, uh, of an RFP and a beauty parade, we would, uh, we would have an independent uh, project manager uh, working with uh, the, the CFO, working with the steering committee yeah. uh, in selecting, inviting um, these vendors uh, along, asking the right questions um, and making a, a real informed decision uh, from there really so uh, it's really giving given them complete visibility and control from an independent perspective uh, and then somebody who can actually work as the eyes and ears of the business in terms of delivering this phase by phase um, so it's very very much that that core network of, of, of contractors um, that we've utilized successfully um, yep. on many projects and actually a, a, a real benefit here um, is, is, is they have visibility of who comes on board. Um, mm -hmm. So they, they may select somebody based on the implementations they've delivered previously within the same sector, the same technology. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it, it may be uh, a competitor that they've, uh, that they've implemented in um, before. Uh, so they essentially, they, they can cherry pick and they can choose the, uh, the, the contractor they want to come and deliver this for them. Yeah. Um, whether it's from a, a technology standpoint, whether it's from a um, a, a personal fit and, and getting that user engagement within the company which is, is very very key yeah. um, so they have I say, complete visibility of, of who comes on board to deliver this for them mm -hmm. and they work with the business on their side um, alongside a, a technology company who is or a vendor who is selling them the, the licenses uh, and we can work alongside in terms of, uh, of an implementation mm -hmm. um, so that's that's the agenda really is to, to let these guys know that uh, there is somebody out there um, yeah. to, uh, to, to work with them to really give them a full understanding um, of the capabilities of, of the new and emerging products out there, what is best fit for, for the business um, and how they, how, how they can really drive that forward yeah. uh, within the organisation. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your time and good luck with delivering your message Excellent. today. Thank, thank you very you. much. Cheers.